Got another comment here from Valerie09. I'm just gonna blow this up here. Love you uh -oh. on the blacklist, my new favorite show. Followed you there from Homeland. So can you tell us when Mike will return and for how long he's going to stay? Loved Mike and Jessica together. See, you also you mentioned that uh, that you're, you're probably gonna come back as Mike. Uh -huh. uh, but what is, is one of the reasons you haven't been on yet because uh, the the actress who plays Jessica has been pregnant and perhaps you can't she do can't any get more pregnant extreme twice. comforting. Whoa, no, she. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Moraine is due any day here. Enough with the pregnant jokes. Um, yeah, fingers crossed everything goes good for her. She's a total sweetheart. She's on top of being incredibly beautiful that everybody asks you about. Like even, I was doing an interview, um, just kind of saying how, it was pre-interview and it was one of those, it's, it's the weirdest thing. I have fans that I don't have fans, let's just put it that way. I don't have fans, I have weird, creepy guys that want to come to me to say, I love your work, I, I love the show, I love your show. The wife is so hot, and you just go, <laughs> fuck man, don't touch me with those hands. What are you doing in the airport washroom that you want to walk up to me, rub my shoulder, then ask me about Morena? Some sort of transitive property sleaziness, creepiness. It, it's their voice goes, they just go, oh yeah, and it's like, I don't know whether it's cotton mouth or they're salivating or what, but it's so weird. <clears throat> Cut away from that. Um, Mike, Uncle Mike, I think there's going to be some comforting going on. Uh, I think. Whenever Jess or the kids are in need, Mike is always waiting in the wings and doing the right thing. So, what's going on then with Dana this season? You were her main, <laughs> uh, pretty much security blanket last season, and now everyone hates her. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a weird thing. That's the it, there's two sides to the sword. It's like you, for for as many people that love you, to all the people out there that hate you, you know, whether it's what you're doing goes against what their favorite character is doing. It's, it's, there's no way to ever please anybody. You know, you could be as amazing as Damien and Claire and SNL are gonna send up a skit about you, which I thought was very funny, it was very clever, but it doesn't matter, somebody's always gonna take it into uh, some kind of weird realm of hatred and bile. So, I don't know what's going on. Morgan's a terrific actor, she's a real sweet girl, she's doing terrific things now. Uh, outside of the show, um, you know, it's just it's a, it's it's some I don't know whether it's an anomaly. People love the show and they love it so much that they are they they have these deep seated opinions and and uh, I think they're like so emotion emotionally attached that they they don't really think about she's a 16 year old kid mm -hmm. put yourself in her shoes. I think it has more to do with. Um, you're getting in the way of goddamn Claire and Damien, I love them. <laughs> oh, I want them to be together.